Hi and good morning. This is Danielle with The Crafty Spoonful and today on Crafts and Coffee we're going to be making confetti eggs. Every year we have a festival at our son's school that um, we have various booths and activities and things going on um, from you know the little go fishing game to the pail knocking game um, to putting your friends in jail and one of the biggest um, drawings from the children is our confetti egg booth. They pay two tickets, they get a confetti egg, they run around, they crack the confetti eggs on their friends' heads, and everyone's laughing and loving life. So I am going to show you kind of how we put them together and how you can decorate them and, and make it a family activity. I do have a link to the full tutorial in the uh, description of the video. So feel free to click over and, and check out how we make them and how I got the kids involved in helping make the ones that we make for school. So it's really easy. I'm going to show you kind of um, what they look like ahead of time. Um, you can decorate them however you'd like. And then if you look in there, there's all the confetti. So it's pretty fun to do. Um, there are a couple of different ways that you can decorate your eggs if you choose to decorate your eggs. You can use how I've done here, um, just crayon on the egg or you can dye the shells um, after you've taken out the contents of the egg. You can also use the paper, the tissue paper that you are using to cover the whole of the egg all around the egg just to decorate it a little more. Um, or you just leave them plain. I have a lot of them that I just leave plain because my chickens have brown eggs. Well, one has green, blue, and the other has brown, um, but it's easier just to leave it as the brown egg. So what we're going to show you first is how to crack open the egg to get the egg out and clean the egg so that you have icky yolk and whites in your egg uh, when your child is cracking it on someone else's head. So we're going to take one of the eggs and we're going to grab a butter knife and a bowl because you don't want to waste the egg. You want to make some scrambled eggs after. And you're just going to take the edge of the knife and tap all around the top of your egg. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one going. And you want to be a little careful. It's okay if it cracks a little bit. Um, and then you just peel it back. And then you have the top open and pour it into your bowl. Now the yolk sometimes takes a little bit of prodding to get out. So I like to use my knife and poke the yolk to get it going more. So now it's coming out. And we have the egg out. And you're going to take the egg and you're going to rinse it really well in your sink with water so that there's nothing inside that can, you know, potentially get in someone's hair or get around. Um, and once you have it all rinsed out, you just put it back in your container and let it dry completely. I like to put it out in the sun um, or in a window with the sun so that it dries all around. It makes it a little easier for... Um, for me to know that it's been kind of sanitized and it's not there's no egg left in it. So once we have it completely dried, I have a whole box of them here. Um, as I said, I mean we make tons of these, so we are saving these all year round to make for our festival. Um, once you have the dried egg shell, it's time to fill it. So that's the fun part. You can get your kids involved with this one. Um, I like to if I'm doing it with my kids. I have a container that they can put the egg in filled with confetti already so they don't have to worry mm -hmm. about getting it out of the bag and put it in there. So I go ahead and take the confetti and put it in about halfway full. If you ask my kids, they want to have it all the way full, but I try and um, keep a little bit of the confetti for the other eggs as well. So we have our confetti in the egg and now we're going to cover it so that it all doesn't fall out. It's really simple. You take your tissue paper and you can just grab a big sheet of it and then you just cut it to size and you want to make sure that it covers the whole hole. The whole hole. Um, you're going to cover the hole completely so that none of the confetti falls out in transport or when the kids are running around with them. Uh, you can also, if you have uh, toddlers or preschoolers, this is a great activity for them to practice their cutting and um, you can also have them tear it as well. It doesn't matter if it's pretty or not, it's just gonna cover the egg. So once you have the 
piece of tissue paper cut out. You're just going to use your glue stick and go around the edge of the paper. So you just take it and you go around the edge because you don't want to put it in the center. You don't want the confetti to stick to it, um, but around the edges so that it can seal the egg. Here we go. This is the bad one. This is the good one. So you take the egg, you put that paper over it, and you have your confetti egg. So um, like I said, you can decorate them before you, before you fill them, or you can even decorate them after. So I, because they, I have brown eggs or the green blue eggs from the chickens in the backyard, I like to um, do it afterwards because I can't really see the colors if I'm dyeing them like an Easter egg. Uh, so just grab your, you know, your kids can do this too. Grab your crayon and then just start decorating however you want to do it. Another great way to decorate is stickers. So that's a little less messy. Uh, you could also do paint. You can do whatever it is you want to do to decorate your eggs. So that's how you make a uh, confetti egg. I hope you guys enjoyed and please tune in next week when we do another crafts and coffee. Thank you.